So um, the top G's are out of prison. The top G brothers are out. Andrew Tate released from jail. Um, and his brother, um, after being in there for what, maybe for like six months. I don't know how long they were in there. felt like ages. And they're finally out now. Um, oh, no, it says here, right? They were put into custody on the 29th of December. Bumba routed. So they're finally out on house arrest at the moment, pending trial. And um, yeah, man, the internet kind of blew up when it did come out. So the funny thing about this is that it probably has it probably has done a lot of favors for their popularity. Like as much as people online like to kind of dismiss them and kind of, you know, um, label them as criminals, um, you know, human traffickers, rapists, whatever they want to label them as this, um, kind of enforced time of solitude, incarceration, sorry, not solitude, incarceration has definitely increased their profile in terms of celebrity. Like they are way more famous now than they ever were probably will ever be unless a trial goes crazy and it probably is the best time you would imagine if you are on some scumbag time this might be the best time to sort of pivot because i'm still not sure i've seen so much stuff out there i've seen you know i've seen kind of accounts from women that who have allegedly worked with these guys talking about how bad they are i've seen accounts from other people who worked around them who have gone anonymous about how bad they are i've i've listened to that vice expose about the things that they said online i've seen all this really bad representation of who they are as people but i'm still not sure if what they say about these brothers is actually true or if they're just really unpleasant unlikable people because i think those two things can be separated like are they actually criminals or are they just deeply unlikable in this kind of you know general society we live in at the moment where people are a little bit woke a little bit sensitive if you have these two guys coming out and being ultra quote-unquote misogynistic and whatnot and toxic maybe with some people with most people out there they just don't want to hear that sort of stuff right they just don't they just don't kind of um, react to it nicely so i don't know if that's the case or if are they actually evil are they actually like who they kind of you know how are they actually what we kind of all think they might be? I'm just not too sure. But I also think this whole top court period, this whole arrest, this whole court case could be an opportunity for them if they actually do want to make a change to turn it around and maybe decide to kind of be legit. It could be because there's too much, there's clearly too much attention being put on them at the moment. People are clearly looking at them with a real microscope. They're analyzing everything they do so they can't get away with any sort of foolishness. So they just have to, have to turn it around. You'd imagine have to turn it around. You'd imagine so. But again, um, maybe it's too late for that and if there's too many bodies buried in the forest. You don't know. Let's continue. So, Cursor of Sky News. It says, Controversial influencer Andrew Tate and his brother have been released from jail in Romania and placed under house arrest for 30 days instead, according to court documents. The self-proclaimed misogynist <laughs> 36 and his sibling Tristan were released from the detention facility in Bucharest just before the midnight local time. Andrew took to Twitter to, to um, after his release, posting a smiling face emoji and a link to sign up to his website saying, email regarding my release will be sent in 24 hours. I don't think he sent that email still. He's just drumming up a number of sign-ups the influencer has posted a video of himself walking around the room while smoking with a caption suggesting he found absolute clarity of mind in prison um he says here since i've been since last year i've been in 24 hour lockdown no yard time pacing a three meter cell with zero electronics or outside contact absolute clarity of mind real thoughts real plans vivid playing one hour home and i can't stand my phone some habits die hard we must defeat shaitan it's it's kind of crazy that they got put in prison in solitary confinement maybe because they're so high profile but the fact that they weren't allowed to come out of their cell once for yard time is pretty wild 24 hour lockdown <laughs> and they've got no charges filed against them just yet is really really insane so that makes me think now why would somebody go to that extent are they doing that because you know um they're actually done some crazy heinous things is it to protect themselves i don't really know um, anyway, it continues. It um, says, leave the facility. Tristan told reporters, the judges today made the right decision. I respect what they've done for me and they'll be vindicated in the decision because I'm innocent and I can't wait to prove it. So I like that they're doing this also. They're kind of playing nice and they're not saying, go fuck the judges. I should have been out from ages. Let my nuts hang. They're obviously trying to be as 
agreeable and as nice as they can because this is clearly going to be a case that's going to be one you'd imagine or swayed on whether they can convince the judges that they're decent people because for the most part it looks like they've just been put in prison since December out of spite <laughs> you know what I mean just to kind of teach them a lesson because they were talking way too much about how lax Romania is and how much it was basically like some Mad Max city where you could just do what you wanted and it was maybe embarrassing the Romanian government and there is a theory out there at the moment that allegedly they're trying to clean up their image internationally they don't want to be known as a sort of safe haven for criminals and whatnot and sketchy folks so they want to rehabilitate their image and what would better way to rehabilitate their image romania overall um with the world than by locking up two people that a lot of people think are very um toxic and maybe have a bit of a shady past criminal or whatnot Anyway, that's a theory people put out there. I don't know if it's true. The brothers then pushed through the crowds to a car with darkened windows and drove off while supporters taunted Top G, Top G, and they, many of the Andrew Tate fans refer to him as. Um, the pair, along with two Romanian women, um, Nigel Georginia and Georginia Manuela and Radu Alexander Luana, definitely jo Romanian, isn't it? Bloody hell. Are uh, investigated by the prosecutors. Georgina Manuela has been widely reported to be Andrew Tate's girlfriend. The four suspects have been detained for months of allegations of human trafficking rape and forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women Oish. they declined all accusations they, sorry they denied declined Andrew Tate's communication director Matei Patrescu said they're not a fight they're not a flight risk and they're not a danger to the public safety therefore the authorities have decided to release them under house arrest it's just a small step they're still under investigation and um, they're absolutely ecstatic they keep their spirits um, they are really thrilled looking forward to being at home they've kept the optimism throughout an order from the appeals court in Bucharest said it rejects the proposal to extend the detention of the preventive arrest measure regarding the Andrew Tate's um, second Emery da -da -da -da. the court replaces the measures of preventive the documents uh, conclude that it, it orders the immediate release of the defendants luxury cars taken away so um, let's see here let's see what happens um, personally I think if they are guilty of some of these things, then maybe this opportunity to kind of, you know, gather your forces, get your story straight so that when you go to court, you can maybe present yourself in a better light. Um, it could also be, again, a pivotal moment. Maybe they decide to go actually legit because a part of me thinks they can't be stupid enough to use their fame or not to be as famous as they are now and do some criminal stuff it just doesn't make sense but a lot of these criminals are dumb i saw a video recently of one kid i think it may be in atlanta or something he's walking out of a petrol station or a gas shop somewhere and a police officer walks in and he shoulder checks a police officer some little scrawny kid and the police officer kind of stumbles and he grabs him and says, hey what are you doing what are you shoulder checking a police officer for and the guy's like, oh sorry my bad my bad and the police officer of course searches him once they're on the floor and he finds a fucking gun that's obviously unregistered and shit converted flipping gun or whatnot which is definitely going to put the kid in prison already for a felony that's already like minimum five years plus so that already shows you the intelligence of some of these criminals or some of these guys that kind of live by that code is really really on a massive scale it kind of goes from super genius to like re insanely redacted so it wouldn't surprise me if somebody who's involved in shady shit would also be very willing to be on social media talking about all this nonsense and purporting to be a certain type of person having all these eyes on them whilst doing all this shady stuff in the background it wouldn't surprise me but i feel like these guys have a bit more sense than that so if they are doing that then you know they're fucked anyway if they weren't and they were thinking of it this is probably a good sign from the lord above that don't do it go legit and just stick with that because you know these guys have got and andrew tate's got that top g thing he's got right where he's got kids paying what is it fifty dollars or something stupid i think last time someone i saw i saw an article somewhere that said he's got like over a hundred thousand people paying like fifty dollars or something or whatever it may be to be in this flipping private discord it's like what like the numbers are insane so these guys are balling out of control um and if that's the case you don't really need to be doing all the other extra stuff that's a little bit you know especially when it comes to the cam girl stuff all that stuff it just gets a bit shady so you don't really need to be doing that so if they can kind of knock that off the head and stick to the kind of quote legit maybe a little bit more palatable things then maybe it'll work for the best of them but I also in my mind are thinking would the Romanian government really be keeping these guys in prison since December 29th on a rolling 30 day you know refusal or flipping release type of thing if they really didn't have anything legitimate substantial on them 
it just seems a little bit unlikely, isn't it? You don't really get arrested like this just because of nothing. It doesn't really make any sort of sense, really. I don't really know what the truth is, really, to be honest. Um, but I guess we'll have to kind of find out. And then we've got this article here, courtesy of Daily Mail, where it says Andrew Tate blames jealous women who know nothing of his arrest of human trafficking. So that's who he's blaming the people around him. But again, you have to kind of look in the mirror when you're that kind of person and think as much as those people may be to blame, you also have to blame yourself to kind of bring them around. But let's quickly read the article. It says a misogynist Andrew Tate. I like saying that all of, every every article misogynist, misogynist, misogynist. Misogynist Andrew Tate claimed in documents that women use the legal system to punish men. It has been revealed in the legal documents. Tate claimed jealous women who know nothing had what's that? Uh, had masterminded his de in detention and that women used the judicial system to punish men. Take 36 and his brother uh, Tristan, 34, along with a long two alleged female accomplices, were released from Romanian prison on Friday. Let me just pause this. I hate all these autoplay things, man. It's so annoying. Uh, RIP Nip. It says they were arrested in, in dramatic December raid on suspicions of several offenses and forming an organized crime group. In a tweet on Sunday, the Tate promises loyal followers who he refers to as G's an update in an email. Um, let's continue here the legal papers which were translated by Romania uh, from Romania by Sunday Times showed that the Tate brothers are accused of taking advantage of women's vulnerabilities and forcing them to work 12 hours a day just with just one five minute break Oof. they allegedly preyed on young women isolated from their families with a history of sexual abuse and Tate has previously said that he would make them fall for him um, this technique known as a lover boy method the victim said the women who worked for the brothers were branded with tattoos that read owned by Tate um, the Tate said in a statement to the police that women understand how to use the judicial system in order to punish men I think these statements against me are given by jealous women who, have, who know nothing and just ask me for money to go shopping um, the brothers released a statement when they released on Friday um, said that there was 0% chance that they would be found guilty speaking after the release Tate said freedom at last it's a bit emotional I've been in my one room since last year so it's a bit emotional I want to give respect to firstly to judges who are here heard us today because they were very attentive and they listened to us and let us free so I have to give them absolute respect for that I have no resentment in my heart for the country of Romania or anyone else um, it's just believing the truth I believe in God and the fire of truth will eventually destroy all lies and anybody who lies on a long who lies on a long enough time frame will feel the sting of regret and i believe this um that's a very very sinister line in it i have no reason i believe in god uh, and the fire of truth <laughs> eventually destroys all lies and anybody who lies on a long enough time frame will feel the sting of regret and i believe this um, I truly believe that with justice I'll be served in the end there is zero percent chance of me being found guilty of something I have not done I maintain my absolute innocence and I think most people understand this and I look forward to being home Tate also claimed that he uh, he now know the absolute clarity of thought in the bizarre topless video the, okay cool but we know the guy so let's see what happens with them um, personally I think this should be an opportunity to go legit if I was them and I was doing scumbag shit um, but it also could be a little bit too late for that there could just be so much mad evidence against them that just kind of puts that kind of shit to bed once it finally does go to court we'll see a lot of stuff get revealed but I'm eager to see what they have on them because um, so far it just feels a bit circumstantial it feels a little bit he said she said um, but maybe there is some actual hard hitting evidence that these guys are legit scumbags we have to kind of wait and see on that one We'll have to wait and see on that one.